and welcome back to Chapel. I'm Todd Riles. And I'm Gracie Carson. Here's a look at this week's Wildcat Weekly Minute. Here's a big week in sports as we have three home doubleheader basketball games coming up. Here's Courtney Kling and H.O. West to tell us more. Thanks, guys. Tonight, the Cats take on Texas Tyler. The women host the number five team in Division Three, starting at 5.30, then men start at 7.30. These are huge games for both teams, so we need your support. On Saturday, the Cats battle it out against Letourneau. The women start at one, guys start at three. We are going to honor our great All-American and former women's coach, the late Janice Joseph Richard. She's being recognized at halftime of the men's game in honor of her induction into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame coming up this summer. And Monday night, it's Fill the Fieldhouse. Come out dressed in orange for our big game against ETBU. Women start at 5.30 and men start at 7.30. There's also a school spirit poster contest. $500 goes to the campus organization or resident hall that makes the best poster. So we'll see you at HUS this weekend. Back to you. Thanks, Courtney. We need to give you guys a heads up. Tomorrow night, our street will be loaded up with parade floats for the second annual Light the Night Mardi Gras Parade, hosted by the city of Pineville. Actress Faith Ford is the Grand Marshal. Come out to the fountains on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. The Right to Life March begins right here on our campus. Here's Brian Gunter, pastor of First Baptist Church Pollock, with more. 58,657,081. That's the number of innocent human lives which have been extinguished by abortion in the United States of America since abortion was made legal 43 years ago. And this Saturday, January 30th, we will gather with thousands of pro-life leaders from across the state of Louisiana. I want to personally invite you to join with us on the campus of Louisiana College at 9.45 a.m. And together we will march down Main Street in Pineville across the Jackson Street Bridge and we'll end here at the amphitheater in downtown Alexandria to stand together for the priceless value of every human life. Our message is simple. Children are worth more than the sum of their parts and their body parts should never be sold for a profit. Abortion must end in the United States of America and we will stand together to make it happen. If you have a sweet tooth and would like to support your social work club, they'll be in the Student Center from 10 to 2 on Tuesday with baked goods for just a dollar. Tuesday is Clico Industry Day at LC. All students are invited to Granbury at 11 to hear from Clico President Darren Oligas on the topic of qualities for success. You will get a culture credit sponsored by the Departments of Business and History. Also, a reminder that on Tuesdays, the Catholic Student Organization meets in the first floor of the library from 11 to 12. Lunch is provided. Looking ahead, come rock out with the Chapel Band on Thursday, February 4th, as they host a praise and worship service in Gwen Auditorium at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, February 10th, it's the 7th Annual Health Fair. Head over to Granbury from 10 to 2 for the chance to receive not one, but two cultural credits. Like pizza? Here's a chance to get $65 worth for just $10. The Wildcats media team will be right outside after Chapel, today raising money to help fund their trip to the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. Really? We need your help, Elsie. Please help us. It's just $10 for a pizza at CC's. If there's anything else you'd like to see up on the big screen, shoot us an email at wildcatweekly at lacollege.edu. And don't forget to follow Wildcats Media on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Todd Riles. And I'm Gracie Carson. I'll, I'll see, see you later, later. haters. haters.